we were asked to sketch the graph of the exponential function f of x equals two times 1.5 raised to the power of x, then state the domain and range. We will be graphing the function using a table of values, but before we do this, notice how because the base b, also known as the growth factor or growth multiplier, is greater than one, this function is always increasing, which means as x increases, the function values also increase. And now let's complete the table of values on the next slide. In this example, we will be using the calculator to determine the function values. Notice how the first input or x value is negative two, the corresponding output or function value is f of negative two, which is equal to two times 1.5 raised to the power of negative two, and now we'll go to the calculator to approximate this function value. On this calculator, we could quickly determine all these function values using the table feature, but we will go ahead and calculate the function values from the home screen. So the first function value f of negative two is equal to two times 1.5 raised to the power of negative two. The exponent key on this calculator is this key here, often called the caret, and then we enter negative two and press enter. To two decimal places, the function value f of negative two is approximately 0 0.89. f of negative two is approximately 0 0.89. The next x value is negative one. The corresponding function value is f of negative one, which equals two times 1.5 raised to the power of negative one. Going back to the calculator, we enter two times 1.5 raised to the power of negative one. Enter to two decimal places. f of negative one is approximately 1.33. The next x value is zero. The corresponding function value f of zero equals two times 1.5 raised to the power of zero. Any non-zero value raised to the zero power equals one. This simplifies to two times one, which equals two. f of zero equals two. The next x value is one. The corresponding function value is f of one, which equals two times 1.5 raised to the first power, which equals two times 1.5 which equals three. F of one equals three. Next we have x equals two. The corresponding function value is f of two, which equals two times 1.5 squared. Going back to the calculator, we have two times 1.5 raised to the power of two, enter, which equals 4.5. F of two equals 4.5. And finally, we have x equals three. The corresponding function value is f of three, which equals two times 1.5 raised to the third power, or 1.5 cubed. Two times 1.5 raised to the third power is equal to 6.75. f of three equals 6.75. Each function value of each row in this table represents an ordered pair there would be one point on the graph of the function. So for the next step, let's list the ordered pairs from the table. The first row is the ordered pair negative two comma 0 0.89. The second row is the ordered pair negative one comma 1.33. The next row is the ordered pair zero comma two, followed by one comma three, two comma 4.5, and finally three comma 6.75. And now let's plot these ordered pairs as points on the coordinate plane. For the ordered pair negative two comma 0 0.89 from the origin, we move left two units and up 0 0.89 units. And notice how the vertical axis is scaled by twos. So we go up approximately here. Next ordered pair is negative one comma 1.33 from the origin. We move left one unit and up 1.33 units to approximately here. Next order pair is zero comma two from the origin up two units. The next order pair is one comma three from the origin right one up three. Next we have two comma 4.5 from the origin right two up 4.5. And finally, we have the ordered pair three comma 6.75 from the origin 
right three units and up 6.75 units. Now before we sketch our graph though, let's analyze these function values. Notice as x increases, the function values increase without bound or get larger and larger, which means the graph will go uphill very quickly to the right, but notice how as x decreases, the function values get smaller and smaller and approach the value of zero. It's important to recognize though, the function value will never equal zero and also never be negative. And this is because if we raise 1.5 to a decreasing power, while it will get smaller and smaller, again, it will never equal zero or be negative, which means the function values approach zero, but will never be equal to zero. So for the graph, as it moves to the left, it approaches the x-axis where the function value would be zero, but it never touches the x-axis or will go below the x-axis where the function values are negative, and therefore the graph looks something like this. Now we'll state the domain and the range. The domain is a set of all possible inputs, or x values. The range is a set of all possible outputs, or function values. So for the exponential function, there are no restrictions on the value of x or the exponent. The value of x can be any real number, and therefore the domain, using interval notation, is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. And now the range we already discussed by analyzing the function values, the function value will never equal zero or be negative, and therefore the function values will always be greater than zero using interval notation. The range is the open interval from zero to infinity. And we can verify both the domain and range by analyzing the graph. Analyzing the graph from left to right, notice how the graph moves left forever and right forever without any holes or breaks, which verifies the domain is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. To verify the range, we analyze the graph vertically. Notice how the graph never touches the horizontal axis, but it does go up forever, verifying the range is always greater than zero, or using interval notation, the range is the open interval from zero to infinity. I hope you found this helpful.